Hi, this is Robin with Libring Audio, and I'm beyond excited to share with you our brand new plugin, Limit One. Limit One is a limiter slash clipper that we've been developing over the past two years. Uh, we tried to come up with a new technique to, to handle transients and, and deal with transients in, in general, and we're really proud of the result. So let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice in the UI is that in the middle section, you'll have um, a time and spectral view of your, of your signal. You'll see a gain reduction por portion at the top and then the signal at the bottom. And what's really cool is that you can actually hover, click and hover your mouse to see the exact amount of gain reduction uh, at any moment in time. Next up, let's have a look at the five parameters. First one being drive. Drive is basically how much are you driving into the algorithm, labeled in dB, up to 20 dBs. And then next up, we have ceiling, which is your ultimate stop. That's basically where you want things to be capped, labeled in dBFS. And uh, then right below, we have clipping, stereo link, and tilt. Clipping near zero is going to be more of a soft knee, gentle kind of compression limiting. Um, whereas near 100 is going to be more of a hard knee uh, clipper that will exhibit more harmonic distortion, which in some cases you might want that. Uh, it's, it's a creative choice. Then stereo link is the amount of link between your left and your right and how they're uh, affecting each other. And then the last part is tilt, which actually is an EQ on the input signal that can allow you to let through more low end or more high end and kind of give you like a temporal shift, um, which is a very, very nice and easy way to to rebalance your subgroup or mix, whatever you're using this on. So those are, are very cool. And then right below it, we have a ditter section. If you're using this as the last step uh, of your mastering chain, for example, you could add some 24-bit or 16-bit ditter, uh, including noise shaping. In the meter section, also, there's something cool where when you use a modifier key and you click on LUFS, you can see the difference. So you can actually very quickly see how much louder or softer you're making your master and adjust the output gain. And you can also see the maximum gain reduction that you're uh, taking away from the input signal. Just clicking it will reset it. Let's take a listen to some examples. I'll show you some before afters. I'll, I'll move some, some sliders so you can hear it in action. But uh, again, I would highly recommend to download your own trial, try it for yourself, uh, and we hope you like it. Let's take a listen. There we go. That's a quick overview of Limit One. Again, I would highly recommend to download the trial yourself and try it out. Let us know your thoughts. Have a great day.